Alright guys, and today we are throwing a budget Odd Eyes Magician deck profile at you. It's not really Odd Eyes Magician, it's actually more of a budget Odd Eyes deck profile. Um, you remember that we got the Legendary Dragons decks already. Um, and these bad boys, I picked up a few of them just because I needed Apprentice Illusion Magician. And I figured with the other cards, we could make some pretty good test decks. So, super budget, X3 Legendary Dragons decks, Odd Eyes deck profile. And here we go. We have three copies of Odd Eyes Persona Dragon. Um, used to be a jump promo, used to be like 30 bucks a piece. Excellent effect. Um, you can target a face-up monster on the field that was special summoned from the extra deck, and it has its effects negated till the end of the turn. A Light Phoenix, uh, not a super great sort of thing. It's a good low scale, and you can actually protect your life points with it if uh, there's another Perform a Pal or odd eyes monster and the other pendulum zone and then the cool part about it is just to have a nice little quick effect you can tribute it and then target a performer pal you have and then jump it up a thousand points graded for supporting skull for bad joker a two mirage dragon great for pendulum swap and things like that getting an odd eyes monster there it's good stuff so recovers advantage perform a pal odd eyes unicorn this is kind of a win condition unto itself Especially with Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, you can actually boost up in Odd Eyes by the power of any Performapal monster. Uh, say, for example, Odd Eyes Light Phoenix over here, you boost up your Odd Eyes and it becomes a 4,500 point beater to the end of the turn. You can only do it once while it's in the scale, but there are other ways to get it back. Three Performapal Skullcrabat Jokers. Uh, just because it's Skullcrabat Joker, Stratos is legal. What I, Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon, uh, that's actually kind of your cowboy for game in this particular deck over here. Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes is actually really easy to summon off the new Odd Eyes card over here, 2500 point beater. It's got kind of a weird level, it's a level, in that it's a level 8, but it works really well with Noble Dragon Edition if you need to put your big, uh, your big monsters on the board. Three Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, alternate artwork, and of course it is the, the crux of the deck over here, the main staple guy. Uh, he's your level 7, he's a dark type, so he can easily get you into rank 7 plays, uh, level 7 synchros if you play on the right way, uh, fusions, he's the big man on campus. And then here's the new one, Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, it's a vanilla that has a super cool text. Uh, the text is, made from miracles, this valiant and beautiful dragon has gleaming eyes that reflect an arc drawn in the sky. Coolest little thing, I think that's actually what comes out of Sky Iris instead of regular Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, just saying. And if an Odd Eyes monster you control or a card is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon an Odd Eyes monster from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Uh, so that's a great way to recur your other resources that end up in the graveyard, especially too. So great for bringing back old vortexes and things like that. Um, let's see. Two Noble Dragon Magicians and two Yugo Golems. These are your Synchro and your Fusion Engines, respectively. Double Spiral Flame Strike, good searcher, and it's uh, also a good spot removal card there. So if you have an Odd Eyes card, you can just go ahead. And if that's if you control an Odd Eyes card. It doesn't even need to be a monster on the field. You can put down like an Odd Eyes Performer Pal Unicorn or whatever. Spiral Flame Strike, get rid of a problematic card. Or you can just go ahead and search for a level 7 Odd Eyes monster. So that's Pendulum Dragon, that's an Arc V Dragon, that's whatever. Odd Eyes Fusion, uh, that's going to get you access to your Dragon monsters, especially your Odd Eyes monsters. Pot of Riches, that'll go ahead and get you a little bit of draw power, lets you recur some resources. And Duelist Alliance, I only decided to put two in there just because there aren't that many Pendulum cards to search in here. It's mainly Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, and then the, the other main one that I do have in here, um, you can search for that too. Uh, three Terraforming, because you need the three Terraforming to search for the three Sky Iris. This protects every monster in the deck from being targeted in the Pendulum Scales, and if you blow up any face-up card, you get an Odd Eyes, so it's great to combo with Arc V Pendulum Dragon. That's kind of the first thing that you want in the scale. Um, two Echo Oscillation, another way to get some draw power going over there, and it's continuous. Also, it makes a great target for Sky Iris if you run out of monsters or scales. And Pendulum Switch, a uh, great way to get big Odd Eyes monsters on the board that you wouldn't normally be able to get on the board easily, like uh, Supreme King Odd Eyes. And you can also pop this to recur some more advantage, too. So, good stuff there. Did not do a side deck. We did. We did do an extra deck, though. So, one 
Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. Uh, you guys know what that does. This is your big way to get rid of big boss monsters. Another great way to do it is Supreme King Dark Rebellion Dragon. It's a pseudo lightning. Doesn't have the Armadius effect, but man, does it zero out monsters. And you can do a lot of damage with this bad boy. Uh, a couple Odd Eyes Absolute Dragons, just because when this is destroyed, you can special summon an Odd Eyes monster out of your uh, extra deck. Just smash. And this is great with the new Master Rule, especially. Since you can take things like Vortex Dragon, Overlane with Pendulum Dragon, and Detach, bring those back. It's good stuff. One Meteor Burst Dragon still uh, helps kill Cosmos dead, just because they can't uh, use their effects during the battle phase. Absolute Dragon, love to help them out with that there. So, good stuff. And Clear Wing, got two of those. It's easy to make in this deck. And, you know, being able to negate up to two effects at a time is actually pretty handy, especially since all your monsters are level five or higher for the most part in this deck. And Supreme King, Clearwing, Regeki on legs, not much else to say about it. Two Odd Eyes Vortex Dragons, because uh, you can easily get those. When you summon it, it's a compulsory evacuation device, and then if something wants to do something about that, once per turn, you shuffle away a Pendulum Monster to continuously get your advantage and negate an effect they have. Supreme King Dragon, Starving Venom, two of those because it's very easy to summon. You literally just need two Dark Pendulum Monsters. You can tribute them to special summon it. Um, it's outstanding. And Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, something you might need to use Hot Eyes Fusion to actually summon. You can't use tokens for it. It's got a pretty good effect and then you can target some dangerous things. And then Gatling Ghoul is functional, your cowboy for the deck. So. Um, and you can also pop a monster depending on what you use. So, but that is it, you guys. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you think of these test decks over here. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and talk. Uh, we'll talk another deck.